All right, we're gonna just do a quick video on Ringless voicemail etiquette. Uh, some of this stuff is kind of um, re just repeating myself, but just want to make sure you're aware of it. Like I said, don't don't sound like you just missed them or have been trying to get a hold of them. Just be real in the message, you know. Unless you're doing a follow up uh, either that day or day after with a list of people that you're actually trying to call. Um, always scrub your list against a do not call list. Every state has, you know, to FAA regulations, there is a do not call list. Now, if you use a common tool like Slide Broadcast, um, which everyone has heard of before Slide Broadcast, that's the most popular one. Slide Broadcast does not automatically scrub your list to the do not call list of the state. Um, you'd have to do it separately. And there's free tools out there to allow you to do that. Now, the tool that we're going to show you in one of the other modules, and it's a great tool for Ringless voicemails. It's very easy, user-friendly thing. But the great thing about this tool is when you upload a list and you do a campaign, it will automatically skip over the phone numbers that are placed on the do not call list. So it's very easy to use, and you don't even have to worry about scrubbing it or cleaning your list of data that you got um, offline or from your title rep against people who were placed on the do not call list. Um, always, I would say, start your own do not call list. If this is gonna be a tool or strategy that you're gonna implement, um, you know, even if you're not doing it every week or do a couple times a month or even once a month, it's good to just start your own and you can have a separate Excel spreadsheet, whether it's your assistant doing it or you have a virtual assistant doing it for you. Um, just having a separate spreadsheet for people who ask to be placed on the do not call you know, the, the last thing you want happening to you is like, let's say in one month you do an open house in a zip code or an area in the neighborhood and you do two, 300 homes and you do a ringless voicemail. And maybe there's, you know, five people out of that that called you back saying, hey, I would like to be placed on the do not call list. I don't like any phone calls. You're going to get a few people like that. Well, let's say you did not put them on a do not call list and you never took note of it. And let's say six months later, you have another listing or open house in the same neighborhood. You get your list of neighborhoods and you do a ringless voicemail blast again. And the same people that ask to be put on your do not call list get a voicemail from you again. Well, they're not going to be too happy with you. They're obviously, they're going to be really upset. And well, guess what? You went against the law. And so they could take legal action. Well, they, chances are very small. You know, a lot of people aren't educated um, about this and that you're able to. But of course, the last thing you want is somebody going on Yelp or Google or your Facebook page and writing a bad review because they, you know, politely asked you to be taken off your, you know, your marketing list and you did it again several months later. So if you actually kept track of that on a spreadsheet or you use the tool that we're about to show you where you're just easily able to just put in a phone number and it saves that phone number forever and ever. So even if you upload a list, it will always skip over that phone number. You just took just a couple seconds to write that phone number down and made sure you never did any type of mailer or phone campaign to this person that you'll be fine with them. And of course, keep them happy as well. So, you know, again, and for people out there in Florida, Michigan, if you're watching this, I'm sorry, ringless voicemail won't work for you. you. You are the only two states that have very strict do not call us. If you're on the West Coast, you're good. We're very relaxed and chill over here when it comes to marketing strategies. I know in Florida, Michigan, and some parts of the East, county or you know east is you know out on the east coast um, a little bit more stricter in areas again like i said for those of you call who do call back just be polite and just be aware you know there it's real estate i'm sure we've all gotten door slammed in the face even with cool calling we've been hung up on there are just people out there you know rude and grumpy people out there that will not like it small percentage but it's all right it's a numbers game all you have to do is just get through those people to get the people that actually appreciate the call, getting appreciate, getting reached out to, that will actually be turned into leads. So just some of the other things too, just really be aware of the do not call list, um, be polite. And that's why I pay attention to the call tracking module. Um, I know I've said it several times before, and at this moment you can't wrap your head around it, but I'll actually explain more in the call tracking module about having different phone numbers and a different voicemail um, box system for each phone number. Um, you know, if you're doing a ringless voicemail blast, the whole point of it is just to make it easy and be able to go on your day. And why, you know, like I said, we'll break it down like this. There's going to be a few, three different types of people when you do a ringless voicemail. There's the people that just don't call you back, and that's fine. The people who do call you back, there's two types of people. They're calling you to be asked to be taken off your marketing list, 
or they're going to be calling you back asking for information. And what I'll explain in the call tracking module is setting up a call flow and a voicemail box system. So when people call you back and you don't have to worry about it, you can have it to where your phone doesn't ring, but they're calling, they're being sent to a voicemail box. Of course, they're going to leave a voicemail. They're either going to be leaving a voicemail and asking to be taken off your marking list, or they're going to be asking for more information. That way you can go in the call tracking software and all the voicemails are recorded, of course, and you'll be able to you'll be able to listen to them. So the ones that are asking to be taken off your marking list, well, guess what? You don't call them back and you just put them in your spreadsheet. Once you do ask for information, well, at the end of the day, you can then call those people back and try to get some leads or try to get, you know, give people information about what you're reaching out them to, whether it's a open house, a new listing, or whether they're looking to sell anytime soon.